What's up, Daniel? What's up, uh, Million Resets? Yeah, we're back. We're back. See what we can do. See what we can do. Official review. Fuck this game. <laughs> no, it's a neat concept. Oh, man. Let's see. Don't need to hear from you. I've tried beating this a little bit earlier with my wife four different times. Couldn't get through it. kept having the fox storm the left door and I kept having the fucking chicken just going back and forth from two different spots really close to the door without ever coming to the door and it was pissing me off because I kept wasting a bunch of power It seems like the time goes a lot slower as you go on because night four it feels like it was a struggle to keep my power conserved. time I looked, it'd be him, and then the fucking chicken kept going like one or two spots away from my door and never completely came to the door. Just like he did there. And he'll sit there for a minute and he'll never come to the door. hangs out right next to the door and then he moves one away and the one time I took it for granted he came in Imagine how much ridiculous, how much more ridiculous this gets. I don't know how many nights there are total. Come on, 3 a.m.
it's a thousand times worse with headphones because it's so much louder. Well, let's catch up with the chat, shall we? <laughs> What lights do I use? Uh, they're just a couple of like outdoor projection lights, and they have the full color spectrum. So I usually have them as blue lights, but I figured red would be a good ambience for this one. So I have they're both behind my chair. One points that direction. One points that direction. You can pause this game. Apparently, that would suck if you couldn't. What's up, Raven? Watching Foxy and Pirates Cove. Have you ever played the Amnesia games? Uh, I'm not even sure which games you're talking about, so. Uh, seven Nights, okay. Scream 7 being a Christmas slasher? I'm here for it. Just depends on the story. I mean, Christmas ain't gonna make it good or bad. Am I gonna play VR? No. No. No, thank you. I'm not. I'm not masochistic. Alright. I don't know if my strategy is working very well for night four, but the power, it kills me on this level. Enough cash, stranger. <laughs> Thank you. sitting there.
grab it. Fucking chicken. He just jukes me the whole damn time. I see you, asshole. sound cut now. Quit it. Sound fucking up. Quit it, damn it. This game it makes me mad. I get the appeal of it, but it's not something I would want to play for very long because <laughs> I'm already two rounds in and I'm already annoyed. <laughs> Let me, um, it seems to be working okay now. Yes, I'm playing this game on Xbox. All you really need to use the camera for is Foxy. Oh yeah, somebody brought up Chucky. I didn't even... I forgot that he was playing the night. <laughs> to be honest with you. This is my first time, yeah, today. I played a live stream earlier, I did like 45 minutes, but yeah. Alright. We'll give it one more shot. Maybe I'll move on to Freddy's 2 or something like that. See how different they are. My sound keeps cutting out on these headphones. Let me restart it. And... What the hell's going on?
Does the time drag a lot more as you go along, or is it just me? Because it feels like the time went at a decent pace before, and night four, it's just fucked. Really? If I see him, I should be able to fucking... Kentucky Fried Bitch. Yeah, these games are too frustrating for me. <laughs> Let's see. Let's try the others. We'll go through a little Freddy's Marathon. on those lights? What the hell is the mask for? Oh shit. Wind up music box. What happens if I don't wind up the music box? Somebody watching me live. Sorry. Don't need any distractions while I'm doing this either. Did you mute the call? Yeah. The phone call was important to listen to. Oh shit, okay. I need to listen to the phone call. Okay. Guess we'll do it this way. Quit. Now open. Not enough cash, stranger. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, see, I told you your first yeah, night wouldn't be a problem. Sure. You're a natural. Uh, by now I'm sure you've noticed the older models sitting in the back room. Uh, those are from the previous location, and we just use them for parts now. The idea at first was to repair them. Uh, they even started retrofitting them with some of the newer technology. But they were just so ugly, you know? And the smell... Ah, uh, an awesome uh, choice, stranger. So Welcome! To direction ...and make them super kid-friendly. Uh, those older ones shouldn't be able to walk around. But if they do, the whole Freddy head trick should work on them, too. So, whatever. Uh, I love those old characters. Uh, did you ever see Foxy the Pirate? Oh, wait, Foxy. Oh, yeah, Foxy. Uh, hey, listen, uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, I'm not sure if the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason he activates during the night and you see him standing at the far end of the hall, uh, just flash your light at him from time to time. Those older models would always get disoriented with bright light. Oh, so enough cash! Uh, Straight or something. <laughs> uh, come to think of it, Thank you might want to try that on any room where something undesirable might be. It might hold them in place for a few seconds. Uh, that glitch might have carried over to the newer models too. Uh, one more thing: don't forget the music box. I'll be honest; I never liked that puppet thing. It's always thinking 
and it can go anywhere. Uh, I don't think the Freddy mask will fool it, so just don't forget the music box. Um, anyway, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Uh, have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. So far, that seems easier than the door. I say that, it's probably gonna get really fucked up here very soon. So the camera doesn't have any battery either, it seems. I need to hold it on him. What happens if the music box runs out? get redundant quick. I mean, they're creepy. That's what happens if you don't keep the music box wind up. The mar marionette puppet going to come out and jump scare you. Okay. honest with you like I don't really have the interest to keep playing <laughs> so let's go to three I'll just kind of sample them a little bit before I go see the movie tomorrow night I don't have enough time to be able to really get into the lore I might try to read some online or something but just get a little a little feel for them These are the types of games that would be fun to give somebody that doesn't play many video games and just kind of let them get, get like a clip of them playing it, but it's not a game that I have the patience to play more than a couple rounds. Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise 
It'll be a lot more interesting this time. What the hell? We found some, some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead right now. So, uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like, the attraction opens in like a What did week. I just... What so am I doing here? Everything works, and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you, then past you, and out the exit. Uh... Yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as the security guard. So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. What It'll the make fuck it feel is this? really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a foxy head. Which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk no. fan, very old school, metal though. So watch the fingers. Uh, uh, right now, the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But I honestly thought we'd First have more by now. To the phone call. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry don't suit. Don't get so scared so much of these games. Things. No, I got a really good jump scare. Uh, the first game that I played, and then the, the very first jump scare of this stream got me. As far as scared, like, what? Like, no. You could startle me. I mean, you could startle any human being. For now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> uh, in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That, that, that Not enough cash, it. stranger. The most important thing <laughs> you want to watch for Thank is you. the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go off wide, then you'll Damn, there's a lot to worry about stuff, in this man. one. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Hello? So far, I don't like this way this one's set up. Trophy for doing nothing. What the hell is this? I don't want to follow you. What the fuck am I playing this? for this one. Hey man, okay, 
I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes this feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. And you're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, this tape will provide you with much needed information on how to handle slash to climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. Right now, we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suit. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents, slash injuries, slash death, slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First, we'll discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound ease. This is an easy and hands-free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the... Not enough cash, stranger. Turn the crank will and you <laughs> yeah, thank you. around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fast and tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile, you are the face of Freddy Fazbear's pizza. I don't really know what the kid's voice does to them.
Didn't exactly know what I was doing there. The audio lures spring trap away from you. Okay. What is this? Follow me to your death. It's not peculiar at all. Oh, here, let me die again. All right, let's, um... I don't really care too much for that one. Let me, um... Actually... Oh, did I get another super chat? Minnie Myers, I'll pay for your Five Nights at Freddy's ticket, Cody. Uh, I've already got tickets paid for. Me, my son, and my neighbor, and my neighbor's son are all going to go tomorrow. I appreciate the offer, though. Oh, well, I mean, I guess that's what you mean, the $20. Thank you. Sorry. It's late. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You can move around. You can? I didn't see how you can move around. Uh, why was there a fight... Glad I th oh, I'm way, way up there. Just seems more annoyed. Yeah, it's not my type of game. It's not my type of game. I get the appeal of it. I do. Um, like I said, it's something that I would enjoy, like, getting my wife to play a level or getting one of my kids to play a level and just watching their reaction more than I do actually playing it myself. You know, I get the appeal of it, but um, it's not really for me. Those are lore segments. Yeah, I know. I didn't skip it. I'm just... Here's money for a single M&M &M at the theater. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. Let me... Um, I'll put it to your vote. I was planning on streaming more of this, but I'll be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not enjoying it enough to play it for hours on end. <laughs> so... Uh, I'll play one round or two of Freddy's 4 to get the full kind of experience of it, but after that, do you want to see me play Texas Chainsaw Massacre a couple of rounds online, or do you want me to, um, I'd have to kill the live stream and come back with a second one, uh, we can play a little bit of Metal Gear, the, the original MSX game, I got the Metal Gear Solid collection on PlayStation, so I would have to I would have to swap over to analog audio and redo a couple of settings for the PS4, or PS5, excuse me. But uh, give me a vote down here. I'm going to try four, and then after four, just put your vote down below. You want to see Texas Chainsaw, or do you want to see the original Nintendo Metal Gear? Five days until the party. Who's coming to the party? Not enough cash, stranger. <laughs> Thank you. What? These are my friends. This is my bed. So I'll just leave.
I have a feeling they're not my friends. Press LB to run to the door. Interesting. That little phone eyeball thing reminds me of Skinnamarink. How terrifying would that be as a kid, having a room with two doors? Especially if they're left cracked open. What the fuck was that? Little bitch ass. <sighs> Redundant as fuck.
got enough cash, stranger. <laughs> Thank you. No breathing. There was no breathing. Play FNAF four through six. Well, the the box set thing that I bought only had one through four. I don't like them enough to buy two more. <laughs> Appreciate it, Gaz. Sometimes you can please review Kill List 2011. I'll have to look in and see what that movie even is. Metal Gear, Metal Gear, Metal Gear, Metal Gear. Okay, well, there you go. All right, well, everybody, I'm going to have to close the stream because I have to redo some settings. Oh, we got one more super chat. Finished Banshee, thanks for the recommendation. Hell yes. If you're not already watching Banshee, watch Banshee. And somebody says, where's the Chucky review? I forgot it was on tonight. I guess that shows you how invested I am this season. Um, I'll probably watch it later <laughs> uh, anyway uh, actually no tomorrow I was planning on doing a um, like a season 4 review anyway like a, a or season 3 part 1 review so you'll get that I'm going to close down the stream redo my settings watch the channel here within the next 5 to 7 minutes you'll see another live stream pop up for Metal Gear Solid and we'll uh We'll play that for an hour or so. Sit tight. <laughs>